So yeah, just watch Rico talk himself into buying one of those Traegers. Yeah, Rico, I think when I come up here and we eat off your Traeger, I don't know if it's going to be the day, man. It's going to be the day. Hey guys, we're done. Tri-tip's in there resting. Miner Mike's going to cut that up for us here in a little bit. Chicken's right where it's supposed to be. We're going to take it off. We're not going to let it rest. Um, man, I'm, I'm still on the balcony here. Am I ready to take that plunge about the Traeger? I don't know. But what I will tell you, just like the offset smoker, just like the uh, barrel house cooker, just like the kettle Weber, it's a tool. And you know Rico. Hey, good morning, guys. Rico tool. here. Um, Rico on the go today. We're up at the 131 Ranch above Fresno, and I've got a little treat for you today. Later this afternoon, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to use a Traeger. I've never used one before. This will be my first experience. Um, it, it, it should be good. And what we're gonna do? I got my uh, nephew Dutch from Keeping Keeping It Dutch here with me. We're gonna do a tri-tip and a chicken. So I'm just gonna do a real quick spicing this stuff up, getting it ready. Put a dry rub, marinate it in the refrigerator, and then we'll come back this afternoon and we'll put it on the trailer. Hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button thing, you know, that little bell thing, smash it, whatever it is y'all do, that kind of stuff. And uh, let's just have some fun and learn the Traeger. And some of you know how I feel about the Traegers. I just What do you think? I think this is, uh, this will go good. This will marinate three or four hours in the uh, refrigerator before we uh, put it on the Traeger. So now let's go ahead and prep our chicken. We're going to go ahead and cut this chicken in half. And so we'll have two half chickens and the tri-tip that we're going to cook later today. It's an all grass-fed chicken. This is probably a uh, factory farm raised. <laughs> does that give it flavor or does it give it color? A little of each. But a lot of times. The best chicken I ever had was strictly no salt, pepper, just paprika on really? it. Yeah, and it looked good and some restaurant served it that way and it was really good. Make me a little uh grilling beverage. We're going to use some of the Kraken. Man, barbecue and grilling, smoking, guys. There's so many things out there you can use. You can use wood, charcoal, pellets, propane, whatever. Uh, today, I have the opportunity if you haven't recognized this, this is a, a Traeger smoker. Uh, it's a, a wood pellet auger driven smoking machine. I've never used one before. I don't even know if I've eaten meat off of one. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of against them. I'm, I'm one of those guys, uh, if you plug it in, it's not a smoker. But I'm learning. Learning that maybe it is. Now, a lot of times when we smoke a tri-tip or a brisket or ribs, we go low and slow. What I like to say about these Traegers, it's a plug and go. You plug it in, set a setting and go. What I'm gonna to do today, we're gonna to cook some chicken, a tri-tip, and we're gonna show you a little bit of how to use a Traeger. Now, I'm no expert. I'm gonna miss some things, but I'll give you a, a true run for your money if I like these and if these are okay things to, uh... don't know if you can hear it or not, but the breeze is picked up and we hear all the wind chimes. Up here, it's just beautiful up here, 100, 107 degrees, but it doesn't feel like that. Okay, let's get going. Unlike a stick burner where you're throwing some wood in there, using dampers and such to adjust your heat, this has settings. And if you, if you look down at this, um, I don't know how well he's got on here, but you've got a smoke setting, <clears throat> then you have 80, 180, 225, 250, all the way up to 375. So on these settings, you basically got a couple options. You can go to smoke, and that's supposed to just give you 
more smoke at a lower temp. So if you have all day to cook a chicken, that's probably the way to go. We're not going to do that today because we don't have all day. Um, Enrico's kind of right on schedule doing the right thing today. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this up to, we're going to go 225. And at some point we'll change that to a 250 or a 275 maybe. We're going to let this thing warm up a little bit. Now if we go into the cooking chamber, it looks just like an offset smoker. It, it, smoke goes in, smoke goes out. Same concept. So this hopper here is filled with these wood pellets. So we're using an apple pellet today. Uh, I like the taste of apple, just like I like mesquite. But they have come in all kinds of flavors. Now, there's different quality pellets, because I, I have buddies that say, oh, I didn't like the Costco one, or I didn't like the Home Depot one. Um, and again, I don't know, but I don't think these are all 100% apple wood. I think they put some fillers in it. So it, it's something that's gonna burn right, consistently, and then they put some wood in it for the flavor. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe you can help me out, those of you that use the Traegers. Now, like any smoker, like any smoker, I'm assuming that the heat's going to variate a little bit in here. Not my smoker, I've never used it before, so I don't know if it's hotter here or here. We don't care today. We're, we're just here relaxing and then, uh, enjoying, enjoying all of this outside and smoking. We went ahead and marinated these. The dry rub marinated a little earlier. This looks phenomenal. Put our tri-tip in there like so. We took a chicken, cut it in half, and we're going to go ahead and lay it in here. This thing closed up. We got our setting set. We're going to go inside for a little while. We'll be back here in 30 minutes or so. Salute. Oh, 45 minute, 50 minute. Let me tell you, thumbs up so far. Hadn't had to worry about the heat. Uh, as you can see, it's staying right at 228, 229, 230. Perfect. Now, we're going to take our first look into this. I'm going to do a little bit of basting. I, uh, I hopefully can see it. It's kind of dark, so hopefully we can look in here and see what's going on. It's looking good. That, uh, that actually looks pretty good. Got a little heat to it. I'm happy so far how this is turning out. All right, what we got? We're gonna do our two-hour check. Uh, Dutch, if you'll if you'll zoom in down here, this is a pretty neat feature of the Traeger. Some of you like using those uh, electronic probes. Well, the Traeger comes with it built in, and then it's got a little button here. You can pick probe one, probe two, the temperature. We've stuck it in probe two. We're going to make sure we're on probe two. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look at these inside here. Lighting's not the. Oof, what the hell's that? Last night, that's hot. Last night we uh we went frog gigging. Pretty cool midnight. Ice chest full of diet cokes. Nine millimeters. And Dutch, Dutch went, Dutch went postal on us at the <laughs> pond, and he caught us two frogs, four legs, because you don't even use the front legs or the back meat or whatever, and there's no back strap on a frog. We cooked them last night at one in the morning, and I, uh, I was kind of too lazy to get up off the table and go get me a, a leg. Well, they saved me some, so I'm going to try this right now. Oh, my God. 
if you like frog legs, these are good. Kind of chewy, but it tastes like it's supposed to taste. So, that was good. So I'm thinking that beef is like a, a 140, 150. We're going to stick this probe in. We'll come over to the little digital thing. Push that button. Oh. That's like a 137. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna baste it a little bit. We're gonna leave it a little bit longer, and we're just gonna check to verify that 140-ish is medium rare or not. Do me a favor, guys. Get tongs or kitchen mitts or something. That looks really good. Tri-tip, just getting a really nice bark on it. I mean, we'll do a little bit of cracking on it. Let's just, let's it go those commercials. Let's get cracking. So this be a bourbon chicken now? This would be a well, it's a rum, but it's a it's a rum jerk chicken maybe. We're gonna go ahead and close it down. Go inside. Oops, what, what? Go inside. We're gonna check some of the uh, internal temps because uh, I, I just can't remember. Chicken. We're gonna let go another 20-25 minutes. And He's sold on this Traeger, ain't he? I'm not sold yet. Yeah. No. Man. That's, that's way better than the tri tip you cook on your offset. Hands down. Let's try one of these pieces. Perfect medium rare. Look at that smoke ring on it. I mean, it doesn't get prettier than that. That's, that's restaurant quality smoked food right there. smoke when you open the refrigerator and the smoke comes out, 
the offset wood burning smokers for you. But if you're a guy that just wants some good smoked food and invest in a Traeger, I, 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 I hate to say this, but I am sold on it. Tie dye cowboy. Wishing you well. Yeah, he is. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salute, my friends.